Why, hello, everybody. Welcome to Community Service, where I am on too much caffeine and I have ADHD. Is that any different from any other episode? No. <laughs> no, Craig. You know what I should have done? I got these little healthy mind pills my sister gives me. Strong acids. Fantastic. Oh, no, I'm just kidding. It's herbs that you get over the internet. I should take those. I take them before I do uh, headlining sets because it's a longer set and I need to remember shit. I should take that before the podcast. I did not. Take it before this one <laughs> that you're about to hear right now. Where am I at next? Toronto, Canada. We got some shows at the Royal Comedy Theater, uh, September 23rd, 24th. Tickets on my website. Austin, Texas, or Pflugerville, Texas, 30 minutes outside of Austin. I'm doing a rehab center, followed by Winnipeg, Canada, Reno, uh, CraigConnett.com. Always for all my tickets and my shows. Go to a show because you never know when world war three is going to start started at the iraq war <laughs> it's been going on for what 15 20 years now anyhow did you hear that kazakhstan just invaded armenia i don't know what it's called but something just invade any how did i'm trying to plug shows and now we're talking about war <laughs> a war popped off today i forgot once they're going after armenia again Anyways, I don't know the politics, but how about we just stop all war? How about that? How about them apples? No bombs? Hmm? Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> how about just zero bombs for a day? How about zero bullets? Put the garden. Go to gardening. You get to gardening. What if we drop seeds, not bombs? <laughs> what a fucking hippie. I know. It's true, though. It's true. Here's some organic seeds that are not patented by a corporation. <laughs> tune in. Just tune in. <laughs> Just tune in to my fucking show. <laughs> Buy my fucking tickets. What's your guys' problems? You got gold here. This metaled mush of a mind. This is unfiltered. <laughs> you want me to get on NBC's cock? And then you get muddled down, Craig? And I go, I can't say retard and gay no more. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say it. <laughs> Just tune in, rate, review before I get shadow banned again. God damn it. I get back at that. All right. I was going to say something inappropriate and then I hit no. <laughs> I love you all. Namaste. Vibrate higher. Love and light. Mm -hmm. Oh. This is me in my most raw form. <laughs> oh, did you did you see that? Hey. I hope I look good today. Oh man. I'm getting old, you know, I have to I have to put on Botox. <laughs> good old Botox. I'm wearing short shorts today. I didn't realize how short they are or what they shit down. What happened there, Craig? <laughs> What happened? Are we already speaking this way? Yes, we are. <laughs> yes, we are. I can't. Why are you racist, Craig? You hate Italians? No, I just hate Mario. <laughs> <laughs> it's me. I better get real high because I've been a little dark in the mind. Life's hard. <laughs> what are you going to do? What are you going to do? What are you going to be sad? Or are you going to self-medicate, Craig? <laughs> We're going to self-medicate. This guy gave this to me in San Diego. Normally, fans give me weed, and it's 50-50. It's good or bad, what I meant by that. Did you understand? <laughs> um, and most of the time, the vapes are pretty shitty. This guy gave me this thing, and I went, okay. Good grief, this is the best little thing I ever had in my life. It's it's tobacco, YouTube. Don't ding me. Don't <laughs> ding me. Holy shit, this guy just makes it. He's a scientist. I followed him on the Instagram. I already forgot his handle, so of course I'm not going to find it. You know, it's some guy <laughs> lost in the ether. Just kidding, I have it somewhere. But it's so tasty. He's, he's a little scientist. He makes these little, he's telling me about terpenes and all this shit. 
I was like, I don't fucking understand, <laughs> man. Just give me the drugs. No, uh, it's delicious. Some of the tastiest vape I ever had. I ever had. God bless that man. I'm going to be all over the map today. I've gone a little dark in the mind and I've had a lot of caffeine. <laughs> and that's what happens. Let me just make sure I don't look. It might look like I'm going bald or how we doing, man. No, it looks good. It's all right. It's fucking thin hair. Oh, it's getting old. <laughs> Anybody have any testosterone? Actually, too much testosterone causes hair to fall out. Ain't that some shit? My balls are too big. <laughs> my nuts are so big, my hair's thinning. Hang on, short shorts. I have a lot of things to talk about to make sure I cover it all. First of all, I got sexy legs. Like if I wanted to whack off my pecker, I'd have some fucking legs. But I like my pecker. But not like that, <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah, right. It's so funny. Guys say, the super homophobic guys, it's like you touch your dick every day. <laughs> you watch dick and porn every day. <laughs> Get real. Get real, they tell me. I don't know how to operate a phone. What am I doing? That's my target list. Do I even need my list yet? Let me just go off the cuff. Let's see how far I can go <laughs> without the list. Come on, God. Give me something. Oh, boy. So, as you know, I'm a, I, I'm a, I am a, a little loosey-goosey. I'm, I run my whole, whole operation over here. My merch, my website, my everything. It's a lot. <laughs> it's a lot. Why do you think I smoke dope? Just weed, mama. Just weed. And uh, so somebody ordered a double X. Why do you have to specify the size? Maybe they don't want the world to know they're a double X, Craig. <laughs> <laughs> As I said it, I was like, oh, great. Somebody ordered a... a, a the, we'll leave that in, but this is for the <laughs> clip. This is for the clip part. Someone ordered a damn T-shirt, and I didn't have that size because I, I run my own shop out of my garage and let's just say things get swept under the rug <laughs> <laughs> and so i'm going through every last damn box i got and i don't have the size and i'm like oh shit how about the wrong size did you want the wrong size i got that size the size you wanted i don't have i miss i didn't keep the inventory up to date i sold it on the road and forgot to up to date it <laughs> on the website and now I don't have your t-shirt, sir. Would you like to Venmo me 20 more dollars and upgrade to a hoodie? <laughs> or shall I hit up the merch man and order one t-shirt? I don't want to order more because I already have, I have a lot, hundreds of the other sizes. Just not that size. Oh, <laughs> it's okay. I hope you like what you don't want. <laughs> I hope you like the wrong size, sir. And yeah, that's all. I just be, uh, I need my notes. That wasn't long <laughs> at all. That wasn't long at all. Hang on, let me get some caffeine. I have increased my caffeine intake to unhealthy amounts. <laughs> It makes me happy. I just wake up. I just get that Costco Lee's Vietnamese coffee with all that sugar and cream. It's like sludge. It's like it's it's like crude oil. <laughs> you turn it upside down. It doesn't even come out of the <laughs> cup. And it's it's good. I I drink um, probably two to three times the amount. You know, they say put this much, you know, about that much. And then I have that, and that's just to get me awake, you know. And then this is the second round of cold brew concentrate. And uh, that is, I also do the unhealthy amounts, you know. The bottle says it makes 12 cups. If you're a pussy boy, <laughs> it makes four. <laughs> it makes four. And, uh, and now I wonder why my mind's melting. <laughs> Wonder why my heart's in my throat, Craig. 
I don't have anxiety. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> Just gacked up on 8,000 milligrams of caffeine. No, I'm fine. I'm fine. I don't need therapy. <laughs> Oh, God bless coffee. But it, and then I take a sip and it all goes away. And the pain goes <laughs> away. Who cares if you're missing the tooth? I don't. God doesn't care. He don't judge me. You think he cares? That's abundance and acceptance. <laughs> and love. Surely people think I'm drunk. I'm not even drunk. I can't do that. The devil's in there. But he's not in this caffeine, boy. But he's not in this caffeine. He's not in those terpenes a stranger gave you in San Diego. <laughs> Where's my little pen? Was that you or me? I don't know. That's why I threw. I think that was you, yeah. It's the caffeine. It's the devil saying, keep drinking, Craig. So this guy made that vape pen himself? Mm hmm. Because it looks cool. It looks different than anything I've seen. And he said he's going to make me a strain. And call, and call it loosey goosey, and I, I was like, what. "Dog, I'll start slanging that and get arrested." <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Come on, my own weed line has anything ever been? <laughs> Baby, oh, he said, "What do you like?" I said, "I like earthy OG Kush taste, Snoop Loop, you know, <laughs> pine trees, and I like ippity uppity, you know, a little." The loosey goosey, <laughs> like happy, give me happy. I want to, and I want the giggles. Mm? <laughs> now that's some shit. That's a that's a strain. Now that's a loosey. If Squints from Sandlot has a strain, good for him. I'm just saying I can too. That's amazing. He has a strain. But he was just in my buddy's podcast. It's so crazy. A, a kid I grew up watching. Who, who I'm actually probably the same age as it's funny because he was a child star wendy peppercorn man <laughs> i was like how was it kissing a woman huh <laughs> you were like nine huh yeah no he was how old was he during that movie it's crazy because that movie i guess looking back i just said that as i said that i was like oh i guess that's bad but not for dudes that like chicks that's a child you know you're like, oh my God, I saw her did. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't go the other way. If it's like, oh my God, I saw his balls. <laughs> <laughs> what a weird thing. Because I told you, I remember five years old, kindergarten, seeing big fat chichis and being like, wow. I left my chocolate milk at home. <laughs> <laughs> Get your mind out of the gutter, Craig. We're going to the notes. We're going to the notes. I'm sorry. Squint started it. He made out with Wendy Peppercorn. That was every childhood's dream, was it not? Yeah, because, well, she was only a few years older, right? Like, I have no idea. I don't remember. I just remember. It might have been middle school to high school. Yeah. 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 I'm sick of these kids ratting on their teachers, man. <laughs> you guys got it so good. What every teenager dreamed of, teachers are doing? Well, maybe not the chick students, female students. Mainly for the guy students. If you're a guy student and you get molested by your teacher <laughs> and you rat them out, you're a piece of shit. You got what we all dreamed of. <laughs> You know, that's truth. I'm going to get canceled for saying that, but you know that's the truth. Every teenager just a boner 100% of the time, and then that teacher says, hey, let me help you out with that. <laughs> and you're going to rat that lady out? Shame on you, young man. Shame on you. She did the Lord's work. You got your balls all full, and she just drained them, and you ratted her out, you little snitch bitch. Boy, we're going dark. I told you not to come today. I told you. <laughs> Look what we're talking about. Look what Squint started. Look what you did, kid. <laughs> they called me Squints, too, because I had those big old glasses. And buck teeth. Buck teeth. I was made fun of. I came out fine. Help me. <laughs> <laughs> 
I love everyone that says that. We came out fine. No, we didn't. But you know these softy kids. This is they're not. They're extra. No, the, we're not fine, but we're a little better than them, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know the solutions other than topple all institutions. <laughs> <laughs> Limit the size of our governments and banks. What? What does that mean, Craig? More mom and pop shops. Evenly distribute the wealth amongst the people. And not five. <laughs> My first hit of the day. Can you tell I'm lying? <laughs> Can you tell I'm lying? It's probably only my third, fourth, fifth. Who's counting? Who's counting? Just huff. <laughs> no, no. Don't do drugs, kids. I need my notes. This, this is a, this is, I'm like smooth jazz. I'm like Tom Watts. Wait, there's two of them. <laughs> Mike Watt. He was a drummer. There's so many Watts. God damn it. I need to know all the Watts. There's Tom Waits, the jazz. He's got the voice. Silent yeah. night, that guy. Then there's Mike Watt, who was the guitarist for the Stooges. And then there's another Watt that I believe was a guitarist for uh, Minutemen. Oh, man. I need you to Google all that because I need to get into my <laughs> notes. And that's too many Watts. Do I know my history? It's hard to remember stuff when you smoke the dope. New additional note. That one's blank. There you are. Mike Watt was in the Minutemen. Got that one? No. I said Mike Watt was in the Stooges, but I knew there was a Watt in the Minutemen. Who's the other Watt? Mike Watts. Is it Watts in the Stooges? Mike Watt. Same name? Same na same guy. Son of a bitch. I've been bamboozled. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, that guy's the greatest guitarist ever. No. It's got the same picture, same guy. He's in... The don't. Stooges and the Minutemen, yeah. Now, what was the third? Don't do drugs, kids. <laughs> oh, that's why. I knew it. You stinker. See? Always go with your gut. He was only in the Stooges from 2003 to 2013. It was later years. It wasn't Inception. Is and, there somebody else with that uh, name? No, it, it, he was in both bands, but he wasn't a founding member. Because right. I knew he was a founding member of the Minutemen. I was like, those timelines don't add up. Founding members of the Stooges. Founding members of the Stooges. Sorry, but my curiosity has got to do this. I guess he was. No, he couldn't have been in the... Because he would have been 10 years old in that band. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. I mean, he's still in it later. That's crazy. What a career. Wow. Sorry, that was some dead air there, but I needed to find out this Watts... <laughs> Watson, and I didn't even get to my fucking notes. Are you kidding me? So there's not another Watt out there that you're thinking of. It's the same mm -mm. guy. There might be, but no, it was like another producer Watts guy, but it wasn't who I was thinking of. All right, so I made some chicken. I made some fucking chicken, and it was good chicken. And I was leaving for Syracuse. Syracuse was lit. They showed the fuck up. Syracuse, y'all are nuts, too. Y'all are rowdy. The manager had to put someone in a headlock and get them out of there, and the <laughs> cops came. Then the guy was, like, trying to press charges, and the cops were like, dude, you're shit face and assaulted him. You know what I yeah. mean? Like, the, the cops were just like, get the fuck out of here, you insane man. Um... As soon as I got off the plane, they were nuts. Like, I seen the airport people yell at someone in a wheelchair. 
like move your fucking car. <laughs> I was like, whoa, this shit. And they 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 backpedal a little bit. Like, oh shit, I didn't see the wheelchair. You know, They're like, you, but they still were like, you gotta move. <laughs> they were blocking the lane. It's just like you you got a wheelchair. Go to the handicap lane. They were in the middle of the road. They were in the middle of the road. It's, you want two people in a wheelchair? Come on. <laughs> pull over that's fucked up <laughs> that's fucked up come on guys i'm a comedian <laughs> and syracuse was lit and uh and then first show was sold out packed to the gills i mean they comped the room it was at capacity i would say i would say sold out that the stupid comics and haters would be like no te- te- technically <laughs> technically there was some free tickets so that's not sold craig well every butt was in the seat. Every seat had a butt. I said it backwards. <laughs> Every chair. There was nowhere. It was packed to the gill. Some guy had to get in the headlock. That's how packed it was. They had the headlocker guy. Get out of here, sir. <laughs> oh, it was hot too, cause the the fucking uh air conditioning, the vents, the systems, whatever the main the aqueduct, air conduct. How do you speak, Craig? How did you get through life, Craig? I don't know. It's connected to the mall, so the club can't turn up the thermostat in the room. They have to contact the mall engineer, <laughs> and then he turns it up, and it's to a region of the mall that cools that area of that mall. So it was hot. It was hot. Every butt had a seat. You know. <laughs> Shit. I said it wrong. And... uh it was so hot, so it was a little, it was a little incubator for gah, people were getting angry. I had to take my flannel off. Never done that. <laughs> Never done that. It's out of character. It's hot. I called the room the devil's dick that night. I got a big <laughs> laugh because they agreed. I was like, "Is the devil's dick in here?" Cause that's how hot it is. Oh, ooh, but it was a good time. It was a good time. Sold some merch. People give me weed. I smoked it. It's fantastic. San Diego before that sold out too. That was dope. That's the that's this one. Watch out now, man. Where was I going with this, Craig? Son. Originally, you were talking about chicken. Chicken. That's right. <laughs> so on the flight to Syracuse, that's where I was going. ADHD people. I had the chicken note. Keep me on track, Chris. Inside the mind of ADHD mixed with THC <laughs> and caffeine. Honestly, it would be the same where there was nothing, <laughs> nothing in my system. It would be like, I got a squirrel. And uh, so I cooked this garlic, pepper, salt, onion, chicken. It was fantastic. And then I was leaving at, for the airport at like 3.30 in the morning. Man, oh, that hurt. To fly to Syracuse. It's no direct flight. And uh, a day early because I can't get there the day of the show. It's an impossibility logistically unless I was a billionaire and had a private jet. We're not there yet. And uh, and then I put the bag, I put the chicken in the bag. I put these like, you know, grilled, I grilled them and like with juices and onions. It's like a bag. <laughs> it's like a Ziploc bag of juice, <laughs> onions, chicken. And now I'm in in my seat, like going to eat this bag of chicken, and it stinks like I'm st- it's garlic <laughs> and onions, and I'm like, I'm that guy, I hate that guy, like bro, you can't <laughs> you can't bring kimchi on a plane, you can't bring anchovies, can of tuna, there's certain unwritten <laughs> rules you're gonna ruin the plane, you're gonna ruin the plane. And I was just that guy, but I was like conscious of it, you know, I was self aware. So I was like, I'll just go to the porta potty and I'll eat this, (laughs) I'll eat this chicken, you know, (laughs) out the bag. And then I could wash my hands. I had no utensils. I was just gonna literally like squeeze, like a bag of, you know, the bag of pickle, like squeeze the chicken (laughs) out. And I'm sitting next to a guy, you know, he's just looking at me like, what is this guy? He's just eating a bag of meat. <laughs> and I just had this bag of chicken. I ate it, I, I had to eat it in the bathroom. <laughs> Cause I was so I was I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. I know, like who cares, but I would hate me 
that's why you know I'm I was out of courtesy. It wasn't because I was scared. I wasn't scared. I brought the bag of chicken. <laughs> I brought it through airport security. That what's this, Craig? That's a bag of chicken, officer. <laughs> that's not what you think. That's that white poultry. <laughs> and I uh I ate a bag of chicken in the bathroom. <laughs> and it was kind of warm too as I fell asleep for a while. Maybe that's why my tummy hurt. <laughs> <laughs> I got to get my life together, man. <laughs> People think I'm thriving, flying high. I ate a bag of chicken in the bathroom. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm speaking of I'm flying high. Well, flying high. May see, I am flying high. What happened there? <laughs> I unraveled. I ate a bag of chicken flying high. Stay fly. We ballin', ballin'. I just did that rap wrong. It's Mike Jones. Stay fly. Jim Jones, Mike Jones. How many rappers are there? <laughs> Come on, man. Mike Jones, Mike Jones. Stay fly. We ballin'. What happened? Dude, I'm on drugs. It's official. <laughs> we Fly High Ballin' by Jim Jones. That's that damn song I just popped in my head. That's a good one. I'm going to put it on my stories, put it on my song. What's the next note? Bag of chicken? Check. <laughs> Fucking checkmate, bitches. Who's eating bags of chicken? Who's it? I'm the people's champ right here. <laughs> I eat bags of chicken in the fucking shitter, man. Who's doing that? What headliner's eating bags of chicken <laughs> next to blue toilet water? Huh? Huh? I wash my hands right after in that sink. That my hemorrhoid's bigger than. What kind of airport sinks, you fucking asshole? What is that? That's the size of a big dookie after Chipotle. That whitewashed chain owned by McDonald's, <laughs> you corporate <laughs> cocksuckers. It's okay. It's, it's, it serves a purpose. I've done it. I've done it. I'll admit it. <laughs> I'll admit Oh, my God. He admitted it. He admitted it. <laughs> it's garbage, but it's good. It's good garbage. It's Taco Bell, but not, you know, less diarrhea. No, maybe not. Healthier diarrhea. Hard to explain that, but you know, you know. Healthier diarrhea. Chipotle. <laughs> Nuclear diarrhea. Taco Bell. Then you go to the hood and you get the best food in your life, but you still get diarrhea. <laughs> but at least that's diarrhea with love. <laughs> so Mabalita gave you that diarrhea. The birria. You ate the birria. <laughs> now you got the choro. Choro. Montezuma's revenge. Sold to the girl with the brown underwear. That story. I told that story before. That's a great story. My neighbor was sitting Indian style and she had brown underwear on. But they weren't brown naturally. You know. They were. I wouldn't say skid marks or shit stains or period. But just dirty. You know, and uh, she's sitting Indian style, and we were having an auction. We were, we were auctioning off junk. We had played games, teacher in school. We were creative kids. We didn't, we didn't have AI yet, I'm molesting our future. And uh, and then, uh, th yeah, she's just wearing brown underwear. And my sister said, sold to the girl with the brown underwear. And uh, we never laughed so hard in our entire lives. <laughs> We are like, oh, shit, she got brown underwear. <laughs> Are these stories going to get me canceled? What's <laughs> not at this point? Every word out of your mouth, Craig. This is the good stuff, you know? What, if, what faces have I been making the whole time? Am I, have I been smiling? <laughs> <laughs> Boy, I hope so. How many facial expressions can Craig make? I got two skid mark stories. <laughs> two. And then, that one just says I was a clown every Halloween. I was. That's, I wouldn't be anything else. I don't want to change. <laughs> so my sweet little niece, she's the cutest little freaking whippersnapper ever. 
she had a skid mark in her underwear. And my sister, her mother said, hey, Mila, you got to wipe better. You have a skid mark. You know, that's caca. And she said, no, that's not caca. That's chocolate. And then, my, you know, my sister obviously was like, that's chocolate? Like right in your underwear, right where your booty is, mm-hmm. where you go caca. That's <laughs> chocolate. You put chocolate right there. And she was like, yeah. Yeah, that's chocolate. <laughs> and she just is a liar. She's going to kill us all one day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that cute little blue-eyed bandit. She's so cute. And she's got skid marks. And then I have a story I'm not proud of. And Sadie was supposed to tell it today, but she's not wearing any makeup, so. Sadie! Sadie! She's probably out buying pumpkins. (laughs) That witch and her pumpkins. All she does is buy pumpkins. What's up with these white girls in Halloween? (laughs) Hey, white ladies, stop stop it with your pumpkins. Spices and... and (laughs) Everything. Too many pumpkins. I, I enjoy it. This old curmudgeon enjoys it. I'm just kidding. Keep getting the pumpkins. I'll give you <laughs> six bucks. Here you go. Um, Oh, fuck. What was I talking about? No. Skid mark. Story Skid number marks. two. Oh, yeah. She's supposed to tell the story because, yeah, man, I was wearing these boxers. They're way too big for me. I look anorexic. I look like a little kid and in the dad's box home alone when he swims in the boxers you know the, mm-hmm. they're big they're polo got them at nordstrom's rack three pack for like 12.99 i'm a sucker for deals they're too big and i was wearing them and she right here in the hallway she said what's that what's that and i was like what you know and she's like you have a skid mark and, but I was like, no, no. I was certain. I was 150. I was like, no, no, no. I didn't do that. You know, I know when I do that. And then she's like, no, you do. And she's like, hell. You know, I, it was a big one. I got it behind you in the hamper. <laughs> we'll take a picture of it. I'll show you right now. And, uh, and yeah, dude. And I was embarrassed. Like, I got caught off guard. I was like, oh, no. And this was after I was sitting on her lap. Mm. She picked me up. She's <laughs> strong. She's a strong, big woman. That's uh, She hates it when I say that. <laughs> She's the same size as me. And she picked me up. She put me in her lap. She's holding me. And then she found out about the skin mark. <laughs> after, you know. So she was like, ugh, ugh, you were on my lap. I have to change my pants now. You have a skid mark. And it was through and through, you know, double sided, mm. double jointed skid marks, you know. <laughs> and then I remembered I was sitting right here and I sharded, but I forgot to check, you know, and it was boxers, it was a lot of fabric, so absorbed, probably dried out, and I didn't remember anymore. I forgot. <laughs> I had forgotten that I sharded. Always check your shart. I sharded. And I didn't even know it. I can't believe that. Who does that? Who shot? I'm an I'm an old man now. That viral bit. It's not a bit. It's just truth. I sharded and I didn't notice. I'm an old man now. <laughs> I'm an old man. Skid mark. Skid mark the size of a fifty cent piece. <laughs> you know. That's not the right symbol. You can't do anything anymore. It's okie dokie. It's not the white power symbol. Is it Masonic? Who knows? I thought that was a thing that they like tricked everybody into thinking was a white power symbol. It's not? It's like a like a 4chan thing where they all got together and Oh good. Okay, good. So but now because they did that and everybody thinks it is, it kind of is. So they made it that way, but it never used to be. It's all fine and fun and games until you make it to a level of success where they make a highlight reel of you <laughs> doing it. Yeah. I'm like, boy, I said that's gay a lot. 
499 times to be exact. <laughs> when you put it all together, it looks pretty bad. But over the span of five years, <laughs> it's not that. It's just, come on. Come on now. Come on now, yeah. Amir K says that in a bit, and it's it's uh, the most funny fucking bit. It's contagious is what it is. That's why I say it now. But not on stage, not the bit. Infiltrates. It's crazy how much we're influenced by everything. Like, he does that bit, and now I just say that in my life. Like, I just say, you know, Chris Farley says that shit from Billy Madison. I just say that in my life forever. That is crazy. <laughs> There's just certain things that just come in. Everyone has their shit. Inside jokes from when you're eight years old that nobody gets, but you've just been saying. Hey, those are fun, man. I think I told you one. This is a dark one. Arlen. Arlen. When, uh, when I was a little kid, we were camping, I believe in Yosemite, and everyone kept yelling out, Arlen. And we didn't know why, so we kept yelling it out too, you know. We go, Arlen. And it was horrible because somebody had lost their kid. And then, oh, he, and then he went missing and he just is gone. And then we Googled it later. We're like, what was that? And we, we didn't even really know. And we, we like, you know, just Googled it. And like, oh, shit, it was this kid. And we say that now. We go, oh, well, not, <laughs> not anymore. It's pretty dark. Yeah, that's bad. That's real. That's that's not. That makes us sound like monsters. Well, your family just has a ton of those. Like you got five at the ready. Usually, you could think of like uh, the girl with the brown underwear. Oh yeah, Arlen. I feel your mom just must have. She shit some. Generated them. Yeah, a bunch. Torpedo. Toofly. That's uh that's shoe. I forgot. We have slang. We have codes. We say pencil when someone's t- when you're talking shit, somebody's coming up and you go pencil and that means shut up, stop yeah, talking shit about it. Remember them. that one. And then there's uh that lady's chewing tobacco. That means yep. she has a wedgie. She's got a, a moose knuckle or a or a, a like bar a front, ba- front. bar buckle. <laughs> <laughs> a boat buckle. And uh, Toofly is, is something's in somebody's teeth or shoes. I forgot. Go look at their shoes. You know. <laughs> <laughs> well, folks, the caffeine's wearing off. I had a skid mark the size of a 50 cent piece. <laughs> How long have we been rolling? Uh, 42 minutes. 42? Oh, no. Take a break. We'll take a break. I didn't eat my Ovaltine. I didn't have my Ovaltine. <laughs> I ain't got nothing. Uh, you know what I talk about? I talk about. I talk about. Uh, I talk, I talk, I talk. Hey, this is how we get it going, Craig. <laughs> how we gonna get it going? I talk about a good product. I'm. Uh, yeah, I'm an old man now. That bit. It's not a bit. It's just facts. It's It went so viral again. It turned into a real audio. Uh, uh, my voice. You know, understand what I'm trying to say? Yeah. Did you see that? No. Yeah. Hundreds and hundreds of people, four or 500 people made my my uh, bit, my voice into, uh, a, yeah. into a real. And they got millions of hits. Holy. Yeah, like three of them, four of them. So that thing went viral two times over on me. And then like five times over with strangers. Yeah. Because everyone can relate because we're all old men now. And then <laughs> everyone's reposting it. Our priorities are shifting. Like I just like a good product. I like to be still. I like inner <laughs> peace. I want to be home. I want to garden. I want to play with my cats. I don't need I don't need to go over there. What, <laughs> what you got over there? I don't want to know. I don't need to know. I'm over here. I'm chilling. I'm at peace. You stay over there, I stay over here. That's old man shit. You're just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> nice fence. <laughs> you stay over there. It's weird. Everything changes. I love a good product. These Ruka shorts. Oh my God, the stretch. They probably got microplastics in it and they're giving me cancer, but that's neither here nor there. That's life. That's life. <laughs> they're trying to kill us. 
There's plastic and everything. Why are there no studies on plastic and clothing? I wonder. Because it's plastic. Anyways, um, I love these plastic shorts after I talk all that <laughs> shit. These are the nicest plastic shorts I've ever had. I don't care if you got rubber. You just got to pay more money for shit. As I slang my hoodies and becoming a man and taking care of business into the finer years of my life, <laughs> I can afford Ruka shorts now and New Balance sneakers because I'm an old man. I'm going to get the white ones with ankle socks and then tie. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, that ugly white ankle sock tan. <laughs> Oh man, and and then and, and I got these at the outlets on the way to San Diego. Why are you rubbing your thighs like that, Craig? Because it's so soft. And uh, and God bless the outlets, man. These weren't on sale because they're Ruka. I saw your clearance rack. They didn't have these. I tried to switch the tag. They caught me. <laughs> they caught me. It's. You could, back in the day, pick and save. Big lots now. I will shop that pick and save. Big lots. Get out of here. I'm a pick and save. We made the joke. Pick and save. <laughs> you pick your nose, you save it for later. I used to eat runs off the ground in Lomita, California. That's not a joke. I was eating all sorts of candy off the floor. I'd steal. I'd swig sips of soda and put it back on the shelf. I was a bad kid. <laughs> I was a bad kid. I didn't give a shit. I'd open toys. My mama didn't buy it. I'd steal it. I'd steal that shit. I'd stole baseball cards and pogs. I stole slammers, metal slammers. I had this slammer with OJ Simpson on it. It said <laughs> OJ in the slammer. I had a Hooters pog with these tits on it. And I was like, that's so cool. I'm never gambling with that one. That's OJ in the slammer's mine. That's a hip hip. I wish I still had my Pog collection. It'd be worth nothing. <laughs> but it'd make me sad because it'd remind me of my childhood and my broken dreams. <laughs> <laughs> Why does all memories of childhood make you sad? Is it just me? You just go, oh. <laughs> I grew up. You know, it's also funny. I am an old man now, but I fucking am still 12 years old in the head. I still, like, go back and forth when I got to pee. You know, I do this. Like, <laughs> they're like, go to the bathroom. Oh, I go, yeah, I got to pee. You're right. I got to pee. What? Yeah. Yeah, we're all. What's weird is. I like old man shit and just chilling, but I'm also still an absolute child. I know that hypocrisy or whatever the fuck, that doesn't make sense, but I don't feel grown up at all. I still feel like I'm in high school, smoking weed before class. Don't get me in trouble. <laughs> don't get me in trouble, Mr. Peppercorns. That's not, that's from Sandlot. I was like, whose is that? <laughs> I was like, where did I pull that from? Mr. Peppercorns. I had an ass though. I had, a, had to switch it up a little bit. I was like, think of a name, Craig. Mr. Bush Plants. <laughs> I'm looking at a bush plants. My brain, you know, can only do so much. Mr. Bush Plants, please don't get me in trouble. Please, why do I keep touching the knobs of my microphones? Yeah, do you feel grown up? Not at all. No. No. No, no, no. I don't want to go to bed early, Mom. <laughs> Get me spaghetti. <laughs> <laughs> it's meatloaf. It's meatloaf. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I still get excited over the same shit. I still like toys. I still like guns, toy guns, real guns too. I grew up. I like all the slingshots, uh, firecrackers, fart bombs, ice cream man, still get excited. Tamale man, champurado, still get excited. Mango, mango, mango. 
I still get excited. I don't steal anymore. That's childhood stuff, you know. I might sneak into a movie, a double matinee. That's as far as I go. <laughs> These days. You wouldn't dig a plate out of the trash and use it at a buffet or something like that? Uh, that's still in my wheelhouse. Yeah, I would do that. <laughs> yeah, that's a deal. That's a deal. I'd feel a little guilty. I'd tip them. I'd tip. I'd tip what the plate <laughs> costs. You know, so I'd be like, okay, it goes to you. It doesn't go to the the commercial fisherman that devastates the ocean with his <laughs> nets. It doesn't go to him. <laughs> It doesn't go general electric fish, you know. Isn't that look at look at this world we live in? So commercial fishermen drag these giant nets that completely destroy all wildlife, all of it, destroying habitats, eggs, so on and so forth. Complete ecosystems. They get dolphins in there. They probably just ground them up, and we get hot dog tuna of the sea. It looked like flippers in there, bitch. Flipper's probably in there, and they call it, like, byproduct. That's probably where we get all those little little seafood hot dog slivers in your, in your pho. <laughs> you know, enjoy your seafood hot dog, your fish hot dog with dolphin in it. And uh, But if you're a man and you want to fish off the pier, or a woman, or you're a human being and you want to fish, you need your license. We don't want you disturbing the ecosystem <laughs> we don't want you feeding your family of four with the four fish you caught meanwhile a, a fucking net just destroys all life i'd like to see them hung you know <laughs> <laughs> oh man wake up all commercial everything. These corporate cocksuckers. They just ruin it. They cause global warming and they give us the bill. Ooh. Open your eyes. Hey, who's there? Global warming? Sorry, didn't mean it. <laughs> Don't send a hurricane my way. Send it to Monsanto's doorstep. <laughs> oh. Who are the enemies? Who are the enemies, Craig? There are no enemies. Maybe Lockheed Halliburton, <laughs> Black Rock, <laughs> Build the Bird Group, all financial institutions. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody with a fucking foot of tyranny on your throat cap. Medical tyranny. Don't say that, Craig. We're going to get to the throne. All I want is coffee. And some good flour. And for me to fish without your little, with your license, get off, get off my back. I want to fish with the fish. Go after the fucking guy eating dolphin, the guy killing the dolphins, go after that guy. The guy that murdered nine million sharks, go after him. I caught seven fish this year, cocksucker. They police us once you police the corporations. They're trying to build a prison. They're trying to build a prison for you and me to live in. <laughs> System of a down, baby. The words are written on the wall. Listen to some music and some acid and be like, oh, my God, they warned us. They warned us. The Gorillas. You listen to the Gorillas Demon Days album on some strong acid. It's all in there. <laughs> it's all in there, man. Woo. It was like, oh, my God. Spooky, spooky, scary. <laughs> How many times have I done that? At least a dozen. At least a dozen. <laughs> Who put the chemicals in the food chain? That's how the album starts with that sentence, and it, they do it really fast in like a in like a Disney voice. Damon Al Albarn. I hope they don't kill you. You know, you're not popular enough. <laughs> if you're like John Lennon, they would have shot you in the head. He had that song, Plastic Beach. I mean, uh, yeah, that, that album, Plastic Beach. And that song with De La Soul about plastic and the fast food. And that was maybe a decade ago. And now, look at Newsweek. 
microplastics found in cheeseburgers. No wonder they taste so good. I knew it. I've been eating plastic since I was a kid. <laughs> I eat toys. I think we all have. Yeah. Because <laughs> some good toxic chemicals, I ate it. Use more oil, chug two gulps. <laughs> I sniff gas out the can. We used to smell markers till we got lightheaded. You won't make reefer legal? That's fine. I'll go huff some paint. <laughs> Who needs a plant from God when I got dust off cleaner? <laughs> You got any gold paint? It hits harder than the silver. <laughs> All my tweakers are like, he's right. The gold paint <laughs> does hit harder. Make sure you put it in the bag. You don't want gold on your mouth. <laughs> Use a cloth. Use a cloth. You don't want the, the dust off makes your lips turn blue. Don't do drugs, kids. Don't do drugs. But if you're huffing dust stuff, <laughs> you're going to want to put a rag over your mouth because your lips will turn blue. A blue. But don't do the drugs. <laughs> oh, no. I got to talk about this. Oh, he just went dark. That was a good laugh, though. Speaking of don't drugs, don't do drugs. Oh, my fucking cousin overdosed on heroin. He's no longer with us. He was 34 years old. Oh, don't do drugs, kids. I make a lot of jokes. But there it is. Brutal. I'm trying not to cry. Let's go back to Huffing Paint. Let's get back to the... Let's go back to the laughs, Craig. Oh, fucking drugs, dude. What are the solutions? How do you get out of that shit? Well, I don't know, man. When you're on that hard shit. You better go to the beach. Fucking, I don't know, get out of the country, do ayahuasca, find God. Get out of, yeah, get, I don't know, man. Well, you got, you got sober because you found stand-up. Yeah, I felt, I filled the void with, uh... Yeah, because you got to fill the void with something of equal or greater value, I guess. Boiled down, condensed, that's what it is. Because if I would have filled it with I equal or greater value, <laughs> stand up to heroin. Have you, have you tried heroin? <laughs> the high. Um, that's what took my cousin. Um, but uh, you have to fill it with a substantial, uh, yeah, void filler uh, of healthy sustenance, obviously. You can't fucking switch heroin with speed. Your teeth are still going to fall out, <laughs> Craig. Um, for me, those voids were filled with stand-up and dodgeball and AA, the program right in the beginning it was bam 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 so i had three things and dodgeball is still a part of my life i love it just as much as stand up which is crazy you know it's silly i know it's silly but if you ever played it's just home it's just home for me it's just chaos people fuck you up and i'm like yeah <laughs> hit me again <laughs> oh my childhood flashback wow <laughs> Um, it feels good, you know. I love it. It's it's masochist, but it's it's gentle. It's not like it's not boxing. I'm not doing MMA. I'm not taking real blows to the head. But you get injured, and that's why it's exciting. And uh, and stand up, of course, that feels the uh, the 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 soul, the soul filler, you know. Yeah, because if you don't feel it, you just you're gonna feel it. I mean, I it, as as I talk. I got my little weed pen. Oh, I don't need it, but I was just saying, like, I'm still smoking. I'm still drinking caffeine. People probably think I'm relapse, relapse, because I lost a lot of weight and I'm missing a tooth and I'm a little jittery. <laughs> but no, nah, we're still, we're still tried and true. Nine years, no alcohol and narcotics. Um, and uh, yeah, I don't know, man. You got to figure it out, otherwise you fucking. It's one of those things, dude. There's a few people that die where you're just like, oh, you're, the pain's over, you know. 
they're just so lost. You're like, I don't even know. I couldn't. I can't. I don't know how to help you. That's what's so sad. Is it's you know, of course, his immediate family, brother and sisters. If they all tried to help fifty million thousand times, it's it's there's no there's no end to family love, unconditional love. It's unconditional. So of course he had he, he was loved. It's just, I mean. It's sad that that is a common story now. It seemed to be a uh, more of a, an anomaly. And now it's like, oh, now everyone has that story. You say that horrible shit and they're like, oh, yeah, me too. You're just like, fuck. Yeah, because it's exactly that. In Syracuse, this this homegirl, she came up to the show. She's like, oh, she's like, no, it's just. No more crying. There's no crying in baseball, pussy boy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, does it hurt your eyes to cry with the whole? No, but it did when I first had. Yeah. That's what made me flip out. Did I tell? Ta- yeah, you told that. When I cried right after the surgery, the salt made my eyes hurt, and then it made me like freak out. Yeah, I was like, no, no. Now you want to rub your eyes because like, yeah, but you can't because then you'll flip your eyeballs off. <laughs> so you're freaking out, yeah. you know? <laughs> yeah. Oh, don't do drugs, kids. Get out. Let me get my Waterloo pinkies up. <clears throat> so what are the solutions to that shit? <clears throat> um, good luck. <laughs> no, uh, long walks help help your mind, help your mind. Working out, I guess. I fucking hate that shit, but. These assholes like David Goggins, Goggins just f- run fifty miles. Fuck off, bro. <laughs> How you do that? These guys in their powerful minds. I feel like I could do like two out of five things. I got five. I could handle. I could do two. God, I ain't doing all five. <laughs> it's either eating healthy and meditating. But I ain't working out. <laughs> I ain't fuck. Go fuck yourself. It's so funny. Why do we operate like that? I want. We should do it all. Cause it's tired. It's tired. They're spraying us too. They put a little. They put a little. Uh, what's that called? Roundup in the air. They go. And then you get tired, and then you get cancer and shit. That sounds dark. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, baby, baby. It's a wild way. It is a darkness. Darkness is around us. Better turn on your inner light. Better listen to your little happy music because the devil's coming. <laughs> <laughs> He's coming in the form in the form of high fructose corn syrup and sugar and seed oils. Did you watch that little thing? I never sent it to you on how seed oils are made. Oh, oh, every everything's tainted. Everything's yeah. ruined. Did ever vegetable oil? It's not even vegetable. Just watch that shit. Yeah, it looked like. You know those thick, pasty greases that they put on the uh, forklift on the on the moving parts? Yeah, you know, like yeah. that grease, that axle grease yep. for cartwheels. Hey, cartwheels! I get it now. You know, <laughs> like but I actually mean um, all like uh, gears and like goop. It's sold in automotive stores. If you watch the uh, vegetable oil, like that's what that shit is. Ugh. 
and it's linked to cancers. Or so says the hippie and conscious community, but not the vegetable oil community. They say it's not linked to cancer. I think I trust the vegetable oil salesman. <laughs> um, yeah, just said like that. These, oh, this everything. It's fucking caca. It's like, hey, can we just have anything natural anymore? Why you gotta feed the fucking cow cement dust? But okay, light, love and light, bring it back. Nobody's dying. Everybody lives forever. All's happy now. Well, well, that's actually true. If we're energy ch- going through the form changing, we're just kind of, we're just transitioning. Looks like we all are transitioning. <laughs> 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 just out of this meat bag into light or love or consciousness or whatever the fuck you want to call it. Or if you're an atheist, to nothing. Oblivion. But according to science, that's impossible. I don't know. To each their own, I suppose. To to add to the atheist who says they don't believe in God, eat some. I'm farting right now. Can you tell? <laughs> uh, eat some ayahuasca and or acid, strong acid and too much, and or mushrooms, strong mushrooms and too much, and then come back at me, <laughs> and then come back at me. We'll see what happens, huh? We'll see. Oh, God's in the trees. <laughs> God spoke to me. His name's Gandalf the tree. (laughs) (laughs) So that's where Gandalf came from. All right. All right. This podcast was all over the place. But so are all of you. But so all are all of you. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, man. Keep your head up. Don't do drugs, kids. I mean, you know what I mean by that. No narcotics and alcohol unless you got your heroin problem under control. Then I'll shut my mouth. I'll shut my mouth. (laughs) That's rare people. There's like two of them. Jesus had his drug shit under control. He didn't overdose. He flew high, though. He flew high. <laughs> How you think he walked on water? Motherfucker was high as a kite. <laughs> he was on acid. He transcended time. He said, I figured it out. Oh, We're all one. One love, one consciousness. Let me walk on this water while I'm on this strong LSD. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Look at that. I just said his name again. Oh, <laughs> Jesus. That's what happens when you grow up in the church. I don't know one prayer, but every other word out of my mouth. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> Gotta go. Scam Likely's calling me for the umpteenth time today. Thank you, <clears throat> government, for being all over my back and restricting me from everything in life, but not the Scam Likely <laughs> calls, but not that. You're on my back when I tried to surf during the pandemic, when I tried to fish, but you let the dolphin murderer get away with it. And some spammer from India trying to rob me of my home I just earned. I don't own it, but you know what I mean. Is he trying to rob me of my Kia? <laughs> I have $4,000 in my savings account. <laughs> That's my money. That's my retirement. Should buy me a toothbrush by the end of this presidential term. <laughs> fucking christ all's good all is good life is good just smile just smile who cares craig who cares they're coming to get you (laughs) no they're not love and life we don't need these systems all you need is some good organic seeds and some water without fluoride in it and the community look at this hippie boy anyways i love you all keep your head up out there and uh yeah that's it man just keep on trucking wear short shorts who cares if you got skinny little bitch legs i don't give a fuck you do what you want be a man even if you're not a man be a man (laughs) i don't know i just we just talk (laughs) peace out i love you all